Hey everyone, and welcome back to Just Meeple and Me. This is Jeremy once again with another unboxing video. This is Snowdonia. This is going to be a massive, big unboxing. This is a big box. This is a heavy box. This is the Deluxe Master Set of Snowdonia. It has over 700 cards, all new components, and I am very excited to just dig into this box and this universe. I have never played Snowdonia before. I had heard about it. I saw the Kickstarter, just like what I saw and read, watched some playthrough videos. Rado has an amazing playthrough video of the original, you know, a few years back. And this is just a, a I'm excited to get into this game. I'm really excited to get this unboxed so I can start a play of it. It is definitely solo playable. So we're just going to get this thing open and show you what it's all about. Now first, you know, this is a sleeved box cover. The outside sleeve here showcases the original artwork of the original game. And there's a very sleek box underneath it. Now let's open this up to the back so we can see what this game is about. Again, I have to hold this with two hands. This is a big game. So again, Snowdonia, the Deluxe Master set. The year is 1894, and the peaks of Snowdonia rise before you, encased in mist. Their summit's barely visible. You will be among those who build a branch line from, well, I can't say that, Lanberis, all the way to the summit. This almost impass impossible task will be only one of many ahead of you, for your exceptional skill and, and ingenuity will allow rails to reach both the most famous and the most remote places of the world. So this is a railroad building game. You have to overcome environmental obstacles to build a railroad. So again, this is a heavy game, a big box. Also from the back, Snowdonia Deluxe Master Set is the ultimate edition of the critically acclaimed game, first published in 2012, expanded and updated over the years by designers and fans alike. Included within, you will find 18 different routes to build, each with its own special rules and unique historical flavor, as well as all other expansions and promotional content published physically and as online content. Stononia contains 715 high-quality cards, historical stations, rails, contracts, trains, and more. Over 380 wooded pieces, a custom double-layered insert for all the components, rulebook, scenario book, promo guidebook, and above all else, a truly legendary game of strategy, engineering, ingenuity, and history. Wow, that is a lot to take in. You can see why I'm so excited about this game here. So it is one to five players, 30, 90 minutes, ages 10 plus. All right, I'll take the sleeve off. And this is what we have for the new sleek Deluxe Master Sec box. Again, the sleeve showcases the original artwork of the game. And then this nice box here showcases the new Deluxe Edition. All right, so right on top, we have the Stodonia Deluxe Master Set, Train Master List Appendix. So this gives you an appendix of all the train cards that you can use in a game, which there are quite a bit. You can see like the Solabauer train costs one steel bar, comes with one charge. And at the start of each round, if the weather is sun, gain one charge. You may pay one charge at the start of a round to gain one temporary labor for this round. So again, a lot of strategy and depth on what trains you would use or what equipment that you would buy to execute your goal of building the route. And there is quite a bit here. A lot of cards. So no wonder you need an appendix for all of this. <laughs> terraforming engine, that must be a little nod to terraforming Mars. Looks like they're on Mars with a little moon behind it. So that's a little cross promotion looks like. Okay, and that is, I mean, that is 18 pages of appendix and this looks like 
the actual history of the Snowden Mountain Railway, which I am not going to read for you guys, but looks like it does definitely have some very accurate historical context to it. The players can read through and appreciate the actual struggles of building railways on that mountain complex. All right, next we have this scenario book. And holy cow, that is thick. That is a lot of pages just flipping through this. This is immers immersive. There's a lot of content here. That is 76 pages. That is bigger than Deep Madness. And I thought that was a very complex and detailed game. <laughs> Drinking beer. So I guess that's an option in this game for that scenario at least. So it looks like there's a solitaire mode, there's mini expansions. Let's just look at the Bluebell Line, which was opened in 1882. The nearly 18 kilometer rural Bluebell Line ran between Sheffield Park and East Grinstead. As was customary at the time, most of its stations were built near the residence of its sponsors. In fact, just one of its six stations were located within walking distance of a village. Thus, Sheffield Park was built for Henry Holroyd, third Earl of Sheffield, through one of the sponsors of the Blue Barrel Line. Lord Sheffield is best remembered as a patron of cricket. Don't know why that has to do with anything, but there's scenario specific components, there's scenario rules, and everything that we have. To follow the special rules with the thinner fog variant rules. Awesome. So again, there's a lot of depth and complexity in this game. As I said, there's a lot of scenarios. This will keep us busy for quite a while. This is a very nice looking book. This is a solid book. Pages are of high quality. A nice glossy finish on them. It looks very well made scenario book we have a rule summary and player aid and we're, let's get these opened up here quick so there yeah, these are there's several of these in there and they're two-sided we have a gameplay summary the phases build site office move the surveyor turn the tide restock contract cards check weather restock and that gives you a little overview of those different phases of the game and then there is a player aid that must be for the actual turn order so that's two-sided a lot of information and i don't know how many were in there but it looked like Six, seven, at least. Let me count here. All right, so there's actually ten. ten? Well, that's because there's there's five of what I just showed you and five more of these booklets in there. And these two-sided ones. And then this overview. So already we're on basically our third game manual between the appendix, the scenario book, and this looks like to be the true instruction book and game setup book and that is what the board would look like and those are the tracks that you are building you're trying to clear all that rubble and overcome those environmental obstacles to build the stenonia rail lines let's let you know about all the supplies and so every phase is color coded looks like solo training mode probably a good place for us to start so yeah, 11 pages of instructions to go along with everything else. And then there are these other player aids, which has more info on the game setup, base game, scenarios, rule summary, the thinner fog variant, which we read about in one of those scenarios, and etc. So there are five player aids or there's five, up to five players, so there are two sets of five player aids, each one different. So lots to keep track of in this game. All the booklets are moved over. 
Okay, so here's some storage components. I'm almost scared to look underneath here and see what we have because those don't take up any weight. This box is still very heavy. But these look like they are nice and compact. That's going to keep all your pieces in and organized. I'm huge in game organization. If I ever did reviews, one of my biggest scores or my biggest weighted scores would be how well does the base the game organized without any third party additions. I think in today's day and age, publishers should make it standard to have nice components for storage, especially if you have lots of pieces. So good. There's another one. We have another one underneath that. Comes with a nice pre sharpened pencil. And there we are, guys. There is all of the content in this game. There is a lot going on here. We have a score pad. We have our meatballs. <laughs> These are cute. I've never played a game that has a goat meeple. But there we go, those are looks like screen printed goat meeples. So that's gonna be a fun little addition. You know we have more screen printed meeples. These must be excavators or engineers or surveyors. I don't know what the terminology is, but there's looks like several for each player color in there. Take a couple of these out. So there we go. We have, I don't know what those are, blocks. These represent, you can see they have symbols on it. I don't know if that's a, that looks like a train tunnel. I, I don't know what these blocks are for, what they're used for. They must be used to the, Track special powers or statistics as they're all in different player colors again. So, I mean, that looks like a traffic control tower, but this is not a plane building game. Got two of those. Okay, let me know not player colors because the purple and the blue, they're both identical. But anyway. So we'll find out what those are later. We have more markers. I think this re re represents like coal and rubble and different things like that. Different types of soil and terrain. We're gonna open up those cards in a bit. We have more components. More. Hold up. We have a whole bag of these things. I'm not sure what those are. They look like fuel tanks, oxygen tanks, some sort of system like that. You know, we have, I think these are the surveyors. I think like there's one for each of the five players. As solo, we will be able to take our pick of what color we want. But again, those are nice screen printed meeples there. More wooden markers. This looks like this could be for track, possibly, or resource. We have a <laughs> we have an abominable snowman meeple. So I don't. That must be a, a fan expansion that was included in the game, or just a fun expansion that we may come across him. Maybe he's terrorizing the railroad. Maybe he's helping us build it. Who knows? But again, that's never had that before in a game. So that is super fun. And this little pack here also has a nice locomotive train meeple. We have a little axe meeple. We have a hammer or shovel, I'm sorry, meeple. And last but not least in this bag, we have railroad track meeple. So that's all unique and different. Okay. 
We have a bag of wooden log meeples. We have a bag of dynamite meeples. Literally, dynamite meeples. Tokens, so those look good. Sun meeples. So this weather has an effect on certain actions. If it's cloudy or rainy, you can't do certain actions. If it's sunny, you can do certain actions. So, and the weather is random, so that plays an effect. So that's either sun or flower. I can't really tell, but I'm going to go with sun because I know sun is a big part of this game and weather. We have more cubes. This just keeps going. We have water droplets. And some of these tokens I know are just exclusive for certain scenarios. We have... This must be goal or bonus point tracker, so most coal, most trains. Nice little wooden block there. This is like Calvary meeples. I, I didn't know we were battling in this game, but here we go. <laughs> little Calvary looking meeples with swords. And here I was thought we were having just a railroad building game, but nope. Those, those are in there. So wow guys, I'm already just almost overloaded by how much is in this game and I am super excited to learn how to play this. We have coffin tokens, coffin meeples. I know that was for one of the expansions. And the last bag there, more tokens. These must be the weather tokens. So we have snow, rain, sun, fog maybe. And they said these are randomly drawn so you just you may know what the next two or three days would be like, so you can plan ahead your turns. So those look like some nice weather tokens. Okay, let's get to the game board, which oh, that's still still heavy. So this must be a really nice heavy game board. Oh yeah, that that's really well done. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna back this out so we can see this a little bit more, but. That is big. Okay. Holy cow. So we have a much bigger game board than I was ever anticipating. I'm going to have to... Guys, I'm going to have to put the this down, put the camera down, clear this table off so you can actually see how big this is. I will, I will be right back. Okay, guys. Here is the game board all the way laid out. This takes up a ton of table space. I still can't even get it all the way on screen. Let me see if I can raise that up more. But, I mean, it takes up... You know, a good chunk of this six foot table that hangs off the edge. This is a two sided game board, but you can see we have this row track all the way around. We'll be laying, looks like different debris cards. We have, looks like different action selection cards. This is a worker placement game at heart. We have a pub, we have other trackers, other decks. You know, we have the weather track way up there. Just a lot going on here. The artwork in the background looks great. This really captures, looks like the 1800s of this region, what it would look like. Let me, this is a high quality, looks like one and a half millimeter thick game board. And on the back, oh yeah, this is different. And on the back, it's a different artwork. The pub is more prominently, is more prominently displayed. So, still overall looks like a very similar layout, but you know, just, yeah, but it's different. I don't know if it has any gameplay differences to it, or maybe a couple little features that make it work for certain scenarios, but two-sided game board. So I'm very excited about that. Looks really good. I had no idea it was this big. And all of these cards. So I was planning on sleeving all this, but I might not because oh, I'm gonna have to figure out a different system because these are already completely stacked in here. As I said, 715 cards, and this whole thing is full of them. We're not gonna open up all of these. But what I will do, that look kind of boring, is we'll just 
I'll look through a couple of the backs here. So that looks like you can see on the game board, you know, we have A, B, C, D. This is an A, so it probably only have these cards here. So it's an A. Also, yeah. Here, this one looks like it might have some trains on it. So we'll, we'll open this pack up. So we have a victory track marker, surveyor's office. So that is a train or piece of equipment. That is a, a dragon, which again is a probably part of an expansion pack. Because as far as I know, dragons did not exist in the railroads when we were building them back then, but could be wrong. So this must be a, um, a promo pack. There's a lot of just fun, silly cards in here, but again, fun replayability. <laughs> the Battle Puppy Express. Two of them. Okay. So this must be, this must be all the promo cards. So again, I, I know it said include a lot of fan-made expansions. We've got some witches. So I am surprised. I didn't know we'd be having fantasy characters in this, but again, I'm not disappointed. I'm not, it doesn't take away from it by any means. It's just a, that was just a little surprise. All right, so we got some more gameplay cards. Again, an A marker. This is a, another train. This one looks more realistic. I don't know what, how these are laid out, what it means, but there we go. All right, so those were oxygen supply, so I was right, oxygen tanks. There's just so much in this game, holy cow. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could see that, but this was an Excalibur card if you hold Excalibur to swords so that's maybe where those cavalry units come in but we have lumber mill there get that light a little better okay well, guys, there's just so much in this game. I could probably spend another 20, 30 minutes going through these cards. There's just so much content that I can't even keep track of it all. But I'm going to see if maybe there's one more pack we can open here. And then that's going to do it for this unboxing video of Snowdonia, the Deluxe Master Set. And I'm still just shocked by how much content and scenarios and replayability and just material there is in this game so that's the fog train after using this ability place one rubble on this card to indicate that its ability has been used and can't be used again it looks like there's some sort of trade-off there when we get a rail so here's some it looks like the more realistic trains and not some of the fantasy packs again that just looks fun that just looks like you're building railroads fighting dragons just another day at the office can't be mad about that. Find snowman, having cavalry. Just you know, this is a very loved game and passionate fan base. Still can't believe I've never played it, but I'm so glad I picked this up. So that looks good. And dinosaurs apparently. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, as you can see, I mean, these cards are very well done. I mean, good artwork, nice and laid out, clear symbols on all, all of them. But there are just, I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds of cards here. And so far, I'm not really seeing too many repeats. You know, maybe these guys do a very similar thing, it looks like. But again, that's a three, a ballast wagon. That's a four steel wagon. So I don't even know those play differently. So this looks like this is going to be a brain burner of a game to learn and to play, but I am super pumped for it, guys. I am not pumped to put this all away now, but I am super pumped about this game. So that will conclude my unboxing 
That was a lot. Holy cow, guys, so much here for Snowdonia, the Deluxe Master Set. This might be the most phenomenal, complete, overwhelming Deluxe or Special Edition set that I've ever bought. You know, I've gotten other Deluxe Editions and some of them are kind of underwhelming. Not Snowdonia. If you guys can ever pick this up, this is worth your money. So until next time, guys, it will be just Meeple and me.